Guess what? Me again, we together. On the third day of Christmas, Red Fox sends to you a third Christmas message. Thanks, Ella. Well, welcome back. Welcome to day three of the 12 days of Spy Fox Christmas. Hope you had a nice weekend. Hope you've uh, getting into the Christmas spirit as we get close and count down to these 12 days of Christmas and then through to Christmas itself. So hope you've had a great weekend. And uh, here we are again, trying to, to do our bit for, for Christmas, to do our bit for all those wonderful charities that we raise money for over the years. And uh, the way to do that we can do is in the main auction. And again, you've been fantastic in so far in the bids that you've put so far. So again, I'm gonna direct you to the website. All the details are there. Obviously, some of the, the main auction prizes are conditional on COVID-19 and some of the restrictions being lifted but clearly we'll deal with that when that comes around but you've done fantastic so far it's amazing to see how much money we've raised so far we'll give you an update in the next couple of days but please dig deep and make a huge difference to wonderful charities so let's hear from one of those charities and this is a charity very close to my heart I've done a lot for them over the years and they really blow me away every time I come in contact with them so watch the short video please from Chaz My name is Joanne Sinclair and this is my little sister Dawn. Dawn and our family were supported by Chaz at Rachel House in Kinross and by the Chaz at Home team in Inverness. Dawn had cerebral palsy, epilepsy, scoliosis and developmental delay and she passed away at the age of 15 on Boxing Day 2018, just three weeks before her 16th birthday. Dawn had a lot of challenges to deal with. She couldn't walk or talk and she was tube fed from the age of eight. But she was the happiest, smiliest, bravest princess ever and she loved her wee holidays to Rachel House where she loved going in the jacuzzi and having a jammy day. So much so that she had been known to go outside in her bed when she was there. She also loved when the Chaz at Home team took her out to see her friends, to go bowling and to a music festival a few months before she died. She loved the experiences that she had thanks to Chaz and in her bed in the living room at Rachel House was one of her favourite places to be. This is why, since Dawn passed away, I've carried on fundraising for Chaz in her memory and have raised over £4,500. Most of this was raised when I took part in the Sahara Trek 2019, where as a group we raised over £60,000 for the charity. Fundraising is so important at this time of year, especially this year due to the coronavirus pandemic. So I would like to say a personal thank you to Spy Fox for generously giving to Chaz over the years and helping families just like mine all across the country. Finally, I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Wow, what a powerful story there from Joanne. And that's, that's the difference that you can make with the fundraising we do here at Spy Fox. And we can't do that without you. Your generosity over the years has been fantastic. And yet again this year, you really are digging deep. We mentioned the, the auction earlier and the fantastic prizes. Not for everyone, there's some big ticket money there. But where you can help is in the pin badges and the lapel badges that you can buy. Something different this year, instead of money in an envelope, we're asking you to buy these pin badges. Again, details are on the screen where you can go to the website site to make your, your purchases and remember a gold one's worth £100, silver is 50 purple is 20 Please dig deep, be as generous as you possibly can be so we can help other families like Joanne and the rest of the team at Chats. So we've heard yesterday, just to lighten the mood again, this is what we do at Spy Fox and one of our friends which you heard for the last two days, he's back with us, he's going to be with us every day. So let's hear and see a bit more of Fred's Bits. Thanks again, Andy. Good to be back. I think you know what I'm saying. Um, I've got a big birthday coming up, which at my age is a birthday. And the only advantage of getting on in years is that your kids get on as well. And thankfully, mine are all now through school. And that has saved me the indignity of the parents' night. And I used to hate that, right? And you remember going up to my youngest son, Ian, and uh, going up to his maths teacher. That was our first our first meeting that night, 7pm, we're first in the queue and the teacher's sitting looking at his schedule and looks up and he goes, oh, you're Fred Macaulay, which is good, he recognised me, he said, uh, what are you doing here? I said, well, the first name on your list would be a clue, I said, Ian Macaulay, I'm his dad. Are you? He says, I've seen you hanging about the school, I didn't know you were a parent. For crying out loud, man. He says, uh, I know what you do for a living, he said, uh, I've got to say, your son's got a lovely sense of humour, but uh, he's failed his maths. <laughs> I said, well, that sounds to me 
like one of us isn't doing our job properly. Asshole. Till tomorrow. I've seen you hanging about the school. I didn't know you were a parent. Thanks, Fred. Fantastic. I think we've all had parents' evenings just like that one. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Day three of the 12 days of Spy Fox Christmas are almost done. Keep going to the website to see how you can make your generous donations through the pin badges and the auction. And we'll be back tomorrow with even more fun. So to see us off, to pipe us out, this time as a guy who's rocking all over the world, it's Dougie Gardner. See you tomorrow. Thank you.